Hello, my name is Crystal and I'm your Hope Catalyst. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you something that consistently happens to a lot of people and it keeps happening, happening, happening to me. And I think that um, some of the steps that I've used to really just mitigate against it might just help you to ensure that you avoid stage fright. I don't know if it happens to you, but I realized that Time and time again, when I have to go up on the stage or make a presentation or be on TV, I just really sometimes freeze. Like, it, it's like a freeze moment for me. I literally just sometimes even blank out. And if that is happening to you, you're not alone. It happens to a lot of people. I'm going to share tips on how to avoid this, on how to manage it, uh, literally. Because I found out that even when I've been on, you know, very big stages and I've really done really well and all the applause are there, the next time I'm going to show up before people... Crystal still sees herself rejecting and sometimes, you know, a rush of adrenaline and I'm, I'm scared, I'm freezing, I'm blanking out. And I know it's a thing and it happens even to the best of us. And that's to subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you click the subscribe button and then turning on the notification helps you not to miss any, any of my videos at all. Yes, so I was telling you the story of how I get up uh, and, you know, I'm on stage and then something happens. So I'll share first an experience of something that happened to me recently and how eventually I have learned to manage it and then what I do uh, most of the time. So I was supposed to read somebody's bio and I was asked to get up stage. And trust me, I, I had it all figured out. I got on stage and then after I got on stage, all of a sudden you could hear it from my breath that I was literally panting and trying to get my breath and I didn't run or anything and then I knew that yeah here it is again because I was meeting a new audience and that's sometimes what happens to us we're meeting new people where we're unsure of you know how we're going to be received and all of that and then you just see a lot of things happening so sometimes your voice is shaking sometimes it's you're sweating in your palms and literally you're holding yourself or sometimes you are doing mmm mmm and literally you're blanked out yes it happens it happens to the biggest speakers that you know and it happens to people that are just learning to speak and why it's relevant for us is sometimes you know it puts us in a place of guilt and shame and then all of a sudden you really find out that, um, you know, you start grieving about these things and then you feel a loss, you know, you're probably losing your audience as a result of that. So quick tips on some of the things that I do that I know will help you this morning the first thing that i do is i practice 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 so irrespective of whether you've presented it before you've talked about it before and um, one good thing is when you have good knowledge about something and you know that you have something up there to share uh to present and, and maybe it's a presentation in the office and it's the first time that you're going to be presenting or you're not presenting before you know maybe top management or you're going uh to speak on a large stage or you're preaching to people or you know you're, you're giving a talk or something you're going on TV, you know, um, and the, the best thing to do is practice, practice, practice. Read over that topic that you have been given. Ensure that you have all your points, you know, jotted down somewhere. You don't have to keep it in your head. Just make sure that you write it down somewhere. And once you have practiced, at least there's a part of you that really knows that you know this thing and you're going to deliver. But that's not enough. The fact that you know it does not mean you will still not, you know, freeze or fright or, or all of that. The second thing that I do, especially when I'm speaking to a large audience, is I pick somebody in the audience and that's my gaze. And I focus on that person and almost the same, I am speaking to that one person. And, and you know, I just continue looking at that person and smiling. And usually when you look in the audience, there's someone that seems to be listening to you there's someone that seems to be enjoying what you're saying that becomes my focus that becomes you know like the person i'm anchoring on and that just helps me to stabilize and get it the third thing that i do most of the time is i just breathe that's something with breathing when you breathe and take a pause and you you just have it you know kind of come back to you literally in my head i'm telling myself crystal calm down 
you got this and I just breathe and I just breathe and I just breathe and I just breathe and then you get into the mood of that thing that you want to talk about or that you're doing what that does for you is it brings back to mind um, you know what you want to to talk about or what you are um, speaking on because what happens when anxiety comes in, when you see all this large crowd is, you get very anxious, your heart starts pumping, boom, 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 and then all of a sudden, what you just really need to do is calm down. And what breathing does for you is it helps you to be calm. And once you are calm, you are able to then, um, you know, share. And sometimes, uh, which is the last one that I'm going to be talking about, and there are a lot of other, uh, other tips, is I become vulnerable. And I tell the audience, uh, or tell the people that right now, this is my first time of doing this, and I'm a bit um, this, and you, you know, you, but you should just take time and listen to me as I warm up into you guys. You know, that vulnerability and speaking ahead uh, makes people, to, you know, to kind of accept you and then they can understand, but also what it does is it keeps the tension down and low for you. So, Pretty much what you're doing is you're saying, you know what, I, I'm, I'm doing this for the first time. It's the first time I'm going to be addressing this large audience that I'm seeing. It's the first time that I'm going to be speaking before people. It's the first time that I'm going to be making this presentation to this amazing crew. And I just want you to take, you know, listen to me, listen to what I have to say and ahead of time. So when you are vulnerable, what that does for you is it creates acceptance. Your audience, the people that are listening to you, uh, give give you, they kind of accept you. They, they give permission even when you make mistakes. And then what that does is boom, 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 you are able to, you know, overcome that fright, overcome that freeze, that blankness. And you know, everything just comes back to you and you can become, become yourself because you know, you've practiced you, you, you know what you're talking about and all of that and then you can then bring this out. I hope this video has helped you. If it has helped you, what you need to do is drop me a comment and also tell me something that you have used to overcome um, this fright, this stage fright. And then the second thing that I would like you to do for me is share this video. Don't keep it to yourself. Make sure that someone gets to know about this and then it also helps them. Thank you and have a lovely day.